So we've already seen this but uh, tonight, but this is going to be the last thing that we learned tonight. And uh, we have uh, passing data into a template. And so passing data into a template is um, like here we're executing a template to standard out. This is the template we're executing. We use parse files to parse that into our template holder. There's that file that got parsed. We're passing in the variable, the value 42. And when it's received, the way you call that data is with curly braces, double curly braces. And the dot is the current piece of data. I'm passing in some data, whether it's a you know, literal value or it's a basic data type, right? So int string, you know, or it's an aggregate or composite data type, slice, struct, map. Like the access to that data type, the whole piece of data that I, I passed in is the period. It's the period. That's the current piece of data. That's the same way like here at our terminal, we use periods. We say, hey, in this directory, do this, right? It's the same kind of syntax. Same people who helped create Unix. Some of the same people who helped create Unix created Go. And so that's why we have that dot as the current piece of data. It takes a little bit of time to get used to working with. We're going to see that next week, how to put in more data. But... Um, you know, all you need to know is now, when you pass in a chunk of data, we're passing in 42, right? Then uh, you can print out that data right here. I'm going to also have your homework. Um, uh, I'll give you two here. And uh, so this one, you pass in a string. And uh, I'm going to give you another one where it's, uh, you know, you pass in um, uh, aggregate data structure. And so that will be like passing a slice or a struct and then print it and just see what happens. And so I'll demonstrate that here in a second. But first, um, let me just create, I'll, I'll demonstrate that now. So let's see what happens with that. So let's, um, uh, there's parse glob and I'm going to do 34. So I'll just copy this. I'll be 0, 34, pass in data aggregate right it's an aggregate data structure and uh, here's uh, my here are my templates and I'm, I'm gonna create some data and so um, that's the startup of my program and I'm gonna do do type person struct and this is gonna be first string and it'll be last string and it'll be uh, age I don't know int. and then uh, I'll create like p1 is colon equal to person composite literal is the type and then curly braces and I'm gonna have first James and uh, second oh sorry last uh, bond and age 32 always need the trailing comma and now I could pass in James p1 to one dot go HTML so let me look at one dot go HTML and make sure the, you know, uh, I could pass data in. Here's the current data. Okay. Boom. Done. And uh, and then down here, all p2 colon equals person curly braces first Jenny last money penny age 27. And we'll pass in Jenny to two. Well, that's not going to show us anything new. We could have a slice of person, colon equal. It's going to be a slice of person. The type, curly braces, composite literal, P1, P2. Now we'll pass in a slice of person. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so we pass in a slice of person. That's pretty, you know, pretty. Uh, and then on this one, maybe we'll pass in again just p1. And so on 2.gohtml, let's print that out. And then on uh, lasagna, uh, let's print out first is last. 
So you could also access stuff that way. That'll be lasagna. And uh, we pass P1, and that's enough. So I no longer need uh, Anaheim. I'm just using 1, 2, and lasagna. And uh, <laughs> that's going to confuse people, PHP. Some people would be like, what? If they only caught this video. You could name these whatever you want, the file extensions. And I'm going to run this. So um, come here, and I need to go up a level. And this is in 34. And then go run main. And so this is file, two, uh, file 1, gave me that struct. And then file two gave me a slice of persons. And then uh, this is the first, uh, this is the file lasagna, and it panicked, right? And it didn't like first is an unexported field of a struct. Oh, wow, that's totally interesting. So to actually export that and call it, these have to be capital. And that means it's accessible outside this page, right? And capital is how you say it's, uh, we don't say public, private, or go. We say visible, not visible, exported, not exported. And so let me just make sure that my case is correct on these. And this is file lasagna, James is bond, whatever. So that's kind of cool, right? So I want on this uh, assignment here, I want to... Uh, you know, um, template, parse, glob, pass in an aggregate data structure, um, and then write to standard out. Okay, so that hopefully says enough, and you maybe want some code. So I'll give you that code just so you have it handy handy. And so that will be your assignment for that one. And we'll just slide it on up. Hey, where'd it go? Where is it? Where? Oh, I put it under, oh man. Attendance. I don't know why it defaults to attendance. Did I just change it? All right, I'm going to stop this video. Thanks for tuning in. We'll fix this.